In this guide, we'll go step by step to set up Splinter Cell Chaos Theory for modern systems. This includes widescreen support, controller setup, improved audio, and better visuals. Let's get started. First, go to PC Gaming Wiki and search for Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. This site provides essential fixes. Keep it open. Now locate your game's installation folder. Open the system folder. We'll be placing most of our fixes here. Download the widescreen fix from PC Gaming Wiki. Track the files into the system folder. Next, open the scripts folder, modify res x and res y to match your monitor's resolution. If unsure, right click your desktop, go to display settings, and find your recommended resolution. Cap the FPS at 60. For controller support, download the necessary files and extract them into the system folder. Open the configuration file and adjust settings, like access inversion if needed. Connect your controller before launching the game. If using an Xbox controller, disable Steam input. For other controllers, enable it. To restore EAX audio, download the Nextrat DSOAL into the system folder. Open allsoft.ini, find the boost setting, and change it to minus 6. Save and close.
Download the registry patch. Run setacl.exe as administrator. Then execute the cmd file and follow the prompts. To enhance shadows, install hxd hex editor. Open splintercell3.exe in hxd, use search, which is also control F, to locate and replace the required hex values. Everything is now set up. The game should run with proper widescreen support, improved shadows, controller compatibility, and restored EAX audio. Enjoy Splinter Cell Chaos Theory with modern enhancements.